Hi, can I have a medium cold brew with sweet cold foam? And then can I also get the egg white and veggie bites? And the, um, do you have the turkey sausage wake up wrap? Yes. Yeah, I'll get that too. That's all. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another day in my life. I just stopped by Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't been in a long time. I feel like my experience at Dunkin' has been tainted ever since I vlogged. I think that was like a year ago where I got that chai latte and it just did not taste good. But I went back to my usual order. I didn't try to like be all fancy and try anything new. I just got a cold brew with sweet foam and a little bit of oat milk. Tastes really good. Then I also picked up some breakfast. I was really craving their wake-up wrap. I, again, haven't had it in so long. And I got the turkey sausage wake-up wrap and some egg bites because I'm extra hungry today. I really did miss the taste of Dunkin' Cold Brew, though. Today is a gorgeous day out, so I thought it would be a perfect day to finally clean my car. I haven't washed my car or cleaned my car in like two or three months. It's been a long overdue, but every time I try to do it, it just rains outside. It's been raining pretty much like every week for the past month. So finally, it is a non-rainy day. I'm gonna go to the car wash, wash my car. Usually when I go to the car wash, I just like run it through the wash, like the, yeah, that exterior washing part and I always skip the interior clean, but this time I'm gonna have them clean the interior because it's been like such a long time. After that, I'm gonna go to Target or CVS, one of those, and restock on all of the essentials. I need to get like uh, Clorox Lysol wipes, like the travel size ones to keep in here. I need to get more hand sanitizer more car air fresheners, just like stuff like that. And I wanna also share with you guys like my favorite organization pieces to organize my car, like all the things I have in here that help keep my car organized and clean. You guys know I'm a complete neat freak. I clean my apartment literally in every vlog. So today I'm finally gonna clean my car and it just makes me feel more at peace. Um, when I drive, I'm just so funny. Like I feel like I can't function in my surroundings unless it's clean, whether it's my apartment, my bedroom, my bathroom, or my car. So. I feel like every time I've gotten into my car the past couple months, I just like cringe and I'm like, oof, it's not clean in here, not as clean as I want it to be. Um, so that's gonna be what I'm gonna do today. The majority of this vlog might be in this car and surrounding this car, but if you're new here um, and you don't know what car I drive and you're curious, I drive a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm actually paying off my car this August. So what, what is it? It's May now, so what is that, four months? I'm paying my car off in four months. I am so excited. This is gonna be the first time I pay a car off. My previous car to this, um, or my two previous cars before this, I used to have an Acura Integra. That was my very first car. That's what I learned how to drive with. It was my dad's in the 90s and he passed it on to me. And then we gave that away when I went to college. And then when I came back from college, I was like, I need a car. So my mom helped me buy a car. Technically it was in my mom's name, so it was her car. This is like the first time a car is in my name that I bought and that I'm gonna pay for. So I'm very happy about that and I love this car. It's been very reliable and what what is it? Like five, six, seven, eight, eight years old. It's an eight year old car and it's still in perfect condition. It'll be a nice little car vlog. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and breakfast and then head over to the car wash. Hi. Can I do the, uh, let's see. I'll do the gold um, full service. This car wash is so fun. They like turned it into a light show. I used to come here before and it was like super, plain and boring, but now it's literally like going to a light show. is all cleaned wait what is this oh my gosh they found my Costco card I lost this like a few months ago and then I had to go and get a whole new one wow I was in my car the whole time I'm hilarious I lose everything I always lose things I lost my inhaler so I actually um, came to CVS because I needed to pick up my new prescription and then I'm just gonna get all this stuff here that I need for my car so I'm killing two birds with one stone today Got everything I needed from CVS for 
my car restock so I'll show you guys what I picked up and then I will also show you guys what I currently have in my car because I still have a lot of stuff like left over so I got a lot of car like cleaning stuff and sanitary stuff I got some more Lysol wipes. I like to just kind of wipe down my area every now and then if it gets dusty or if I spill something I'm always spilling stuff in my car like coffee or drinks or anything And then I also like to clean my steering wheel every once in a while You know a lot of germs get on here So I want to make sure I have a nice sanitized steering wheel and then I also got a Lysol to go I don't know just in case I need to Disinfect anything like the seats, especially the seats are fabric. So I once in a while will spray the seats just to disinfect them. And then I also got a Febreze fabric to go. Sometimes when the car smells, like if we eat food in the car or just anything, I'll just like give it a quick spray to make it smell nice and good. And then I also picked up these Febreze car vent air fresheners. You put these in the car vent and like when you turn the vent on, it'll blast. The smell out i love these things and this is the linen scent my favorite favorite scent speaking of spilling i needed another tide to go pen like i said i'm always spilling stuff especially like coffee on my shirt so this is a must-have for me in the car in my purse everywhere i go i need one of those also picked up another hand sanitizer i like to put this in the cup holder on the side of my door every time i come in my car i always disinfect my hands and then i got a couple of travel size beauty items i got a CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I first of all love this lotion I have the full size of this uh, at home and then I picked up another one of these little native uh, deodorants I love this scent cucumber and mint and it's just so cute like look how small it is I picked up two beauty things that are non car related I got another shaving cream this is my favorite shaving cream from flamingo it's like a foam shave cream and I like this because it has aloe vera so it makes your skin moisturize I have really sensitive dry skin and it's also dermatologist tested so I really like that brand and then I picked up an OPI nail polish this is funny bunny it's a white nail polish I just needed a new white nail polish um, and I really like funny bunny if you want a really pretty natural like nail color you should mix funny bunny and bubble bath both are OPI colors. I always get that combo. So that's everything that I bought today from CVS. So I'm gonna show you guys now what I like currently have and like what my little car emergency setup is. So I have this little uh, makeup bag, just a plain old black one. I got this from like Target. It's actually getting like dirty. But um, this is where I store all of my, you know, car necessities currently. I'm actually gonna switch over and use this bag that I have. This is just a like random bag I got from Dr. Dennis Gross but they sell these type of bags on Amazon, tar literally everywhere they sell these bags now. I wanna switch it because this bag is super big. As you can tell, it's like a lot thicker and bigger than this one. So it takes up a lot of space in my glove compartment because that's where I keep it. So I just wanted a smaller one and then I also like how this is clear so I can see what's on top because sometimes I like forget what's in here and sometimes I'm driving and I'm like, oh, I need this and I need this, but like I don't remember I have it. That's just the way my mind works. I'm the type of person where if I can't see it, I'll forget about it. The same goes for like my skincare and body care. Like if I can't see it on my counter or in my shower, then I'm gonna forget that I have it. If it's in my cabinet somewhere, I'm gonna forget that I have it. So that's just how I am with all things. So, okay, let me show you guys what I also currently have left over. I just have a bunch of tampons. Like this is honestly the number one thing I always need to carry with me in my car because you never know. If you have one of your girlfriends in the car, you never know when they're gonna need um, something I have some gum I have a pen more tampons I have a few of these Neutrogena individual makeup remover wipes just in case like my eye makeup is running or something and I need to um, quickly remove my makeup oh I, wow I already have a Lysol disinfecting spray so I guess now I have two I forgot I had that and then I have a hand cream from Nasser a little thing of Advil oh let me check if this is expired April 2024 we're good so yeah in case you know I get a headache or something and then I have this lip oil I love this lip oil wow I forgot I had this see I forget that I have all these things but um, this is a hydrating lip oil I got this from Amazon a pack of three was like maybe eight bucks this is like one of the best oils I've ever used it's so affordable and it makes your um, skin really smooth and then I also have a couple of these perfumes from scent bird this is like a subscription service that you can order like new scents every single month and they have all sorts of brands so this one is Prada candy and they come in these little vials which is nice 
nice for traveling. And then this one is Toka Bell. Ooh, I love that scent. See, forgot I had this. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so pretty. Okay, so that's all that I had in this um, old bag. So this is the new bag. Oh, and I also have a couple of things in here. I brought out this body spray that I had in the bathroom from uh, Sol de Janeiro. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. Pink dragon fruit and Brazilian jasmine. I love, love, love this body scent. And then I also have my sunscreen stick that I showed in the previous vlog. So I'm gonna, wow, look at the, look how my car seat looks right now. I have all this stuff here. So much stuff that I'm gonna put and organize in here. nicely in here I'm gonna like put the Lysol wipes like directly in my glove compartment I have two little sections of my glove compartment up here I have like random stuff um, this gum is this expired oh literally expired seven days ago May 10th I think today is the 17th so okay that's trash and then I have this hand cream. I have like a bunch of hand creams in my car because this one is like quick access. And then I also have like that extra Nasera one and then quick grab tampon, another hand cream. Actually, this is dried out. That will be trash. And then I have a pen and then I have this little, um, what do you call this? Mirror and then a couple more hair ties. So I'll just keep like this stuff up here. Like I said, that's like for kind of quick, easy access for things that I want to grab. The next compartment, oh my God, I have a pad, these big old pads. Okay, we're gonna take those out. Um, I have a couple more car wipes. These actually I think are super old. So I think they might be expired. July, 2022, yeah, that's expired. Okay, so I have a trash bag here. I'm gonna put all the trash in here. Brush. The last thing I have is this little lint roller, which is still brand new. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so I will keep that in there. Go ahead and put that in there like that. The Lysol wipes, lint roller, then the gum. And I think that's all I will keep in there. All right, so this is the current trunk situation. It's not that bad, but I do need to organize it a little bit, especially this little organizer that I have. I really love this organizer. It's very helpful at helping me keep all my stuff in here and just literally organizing everything, but it's gotten quite messy, so I need to organize that a little bit. Oh, and I forgot I have these little um, air fresheners. I love black ice. And I love little trees like this brand. So I got a pack, a huge pack of these on Amazon. So I'm gonna put one up in the front. So let me clean this first and I'll kind of give you guys a little tour after. Okay, so here's the trunk all organized. My cart just stays back there. That's a return I have to make to the mall. But here is the little organizational 
um, what do you call this? Bin, I guess, or just an organizational thing. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's a really, really nice piece to put in the trunk. It has all these little pockets on the side. I have like random stuff like masks. And on this side, I have, like I said, all those little tree air fresheners. I have more masks. That's really only what I keep on the side. So in here, this whole half is literally all shopping bags. I have so many shopping bags. On this side, I have like all the clothing fabric things like I have an extra blanket this really really comes in handy back in October we got a flat tire in the middle of the night and we had to wait like an hour for AAA to come and help us and it was so cold so I had this blanket on me and it was seriously a lifesaver and then also another thing that was a lifesaver is having like a hoodie or a sweatshirt again back in like October I went to a wedding and I didn't wear a jacket it was warm during the day and very, very cold at night. So I threw this over my dress and it was again, a lifesaver. And then I also have a pair of extra like sweatpants just in case I've never had to use those, but in case, I don't know, I need some pants anywhere I go, I have those. And then on this side, I have an extra pair of sandals too. And then I have a lot of like disinfectant stuff. I forgot that I had this um, antibacterial wet wipes. It's a whole pack of them. So I use these to clean my car so i think i'm gonna like clean the trunk a little bit like clean the mat because i don't think the car wash cleaned it um because it was so messy so i'll clean it myself and then i also have these multi-surface cleaning wipes from target and then i have some glass cleaner wipes as well to clean the windows and i also have a first aid kit very essential to have in your car it has like band-aids gauze um, alcohol wipes just anything you need for an emergency and then what i like about this little thing is that it has hooks so it can you know be held in place it never moves around when i drive it like always stays in place so it's really good at that and then in here i just have my umbrella and then i also have a little uh pocket over here which i really don't use oh this is where the flashlight goes wait a minute in my glove compartment when i was cleaning it earlier i found this little thing and i was like what is this is this a taser but i think it's a a flashlight that comes with the car i think it's dead because it has to be in here to charge so we're gonna just put that there um what else and then under here i have a little uh, more storage oh look at that more shopping bags that's my spare tire you know i have extra flares and things like that in case of emergency and that's it nothing interesting down there i love these weather tech mats these actually came with the car when i bought it because i bought this car used but this is like seriously the best brand of car mats i have a couple in the front too it seriously protects the car and it's really good quality i have this one back here and then i have two in the front they fit so perfectly they've kept my car's you know mat semi clean for the most part for an eight-year-old car i feel like I've done a good job of keeping it clean. So anyway, I'll do a quick little car tour and I'll also show you guys some of my favorite organizational things that I have in the car. I really try to keep my car very uh, minimal. Like I don't like a lot of stuff and I don't like a lot of clutter. You guys know how I am. So in the front, I just have this tripod holder for my camera. This is what I put my camera on when I vlog in the car. I always get lots of questions. I got that from Amazon for like eight bucks. I'll link it in my description, but it's really sturdy. Um, you just like stick it on it's a self-adhesive and then you screw your camera on the top and then up here I have this little tissue holder that I have extra masks in and then over here I showed you guys the glove compartments I have this little like holder here I just put my glasses there all the time my little cup holder in here I keep my phone charger I literally always have to charge my phone in the car so I hide the cord in here and then there's also just space in here to put whatever you want I really don't keep anything in there actually I do have a hand sanitizer pump on this side as well on the passenger and the driver's side so anytime someone gets in the car they can easily wash their hands I don't have to pull out the pump on my side and bring it to them they have their own and then in the back oh another thing that I love organization wise are these hooks and I hang my purses on here, shopping bags, literally anything you can hang on here. I also forgot to mention, excuse this mess, this is like stuff I'm gonna bring inside the house, but my car interior is cloth. I really like cloth over leather because I hate in the summer how leather gets hot and how in the cold leather is super cold. So I've always liked cloth seats, but I did wanna protect the seats a little bit. So I got these covers from Amazon and they're just like these leather seat covers. Again, it matches like really well with the interior. Well, actually here, it doesn't look like it, but when there's not sun 
shining directly on it. It matches like pretty well. Trash, I need to bring that inside the house. Oh, sunglasses. I have so many sunglasses in my car. They're all prescription sunglasses. So I keep all my sunglasses up here kind of just piled up in this little thing. And yeah, I showed you guys the back. This, my grocery cart, this is a super, super must if you live in an apartment building. Some kind of wagon or cart you like absolutely need. It is such a lifesaver every time I go grocery shopping or just shopping in general. Um, that one is, I think, from Amazon too. So I will link that in my description as well. But I think that's it, you guys. That's my car, that's how it's organized. And now it's all clean. And last but not least, the last thing I always do when I clean my car is add the new, air freshener and that is it for my car cleaning and organization i'll link everything that i showed you guys in my description okay so i'm gonna go back inside and relax for the rest of the day i do have some work that i need to catch up on and get done before the day ends right now it's three o'clock sorry i think the ac is blasting i just realized hopefully it wasn't too loud oh my god so much better i need to go eat i haven't eaten since that dunkin breakfast so i'm gonna go make some lunch i'm gonna also start on dinner i'm gonna make some chicken thighs tonight with potatoes and veggies i'm really looking forward to that because i've been like craving like baked chicken and then tonight i cannot do anything tonight is the super bowl of reality tv it is the vanderpump rule season 10 finale this is going to be like a two or three hour event something like that it starts at 9 p.m and guys when i'm telling you this is the super bowl of trash reality tv it seriously is like i'm so excited so i'm literally trying to finish everything i need to get done by 8 30 p.m so i can get settled down get ready for the show i'm very excited i'm gonna head back inside i'll check with you guys later we've had the couch like this for the past couple days so i'm gonna move it back to normal to the way it used to be so i can get ready for my super bowl tonight getting ready to cook dinner tonight I'm going to be making some chicken thighs with a side of red baby potatoes I'm gonna chop up an onion and this bell pepper and I'm gonna make kind of like a baked veggie medley and then I'm gonna season the chicken with this chicken seasoning salt and pepper olive oil garlic powder paprika and chili powder so I'm going to bake everything I'm gonna bake these in the oven put them on a rack on top of a baking sheet actually onto his idea he suggested that we get one of these if you like to eat s'mores then this is for you you're gonna like this too so recently me and Anto have been making s'mores at home we've just been roasting marshmallows on the gas stove Anto was like why don't we like get a cool machine that we can use to make our s'mores with so we don't have to use the stove anymore i saw this on amazon and it first of all looked really cute and also looks like it's super like what's the word handy or perfect for helping you organize and set up your s'mores easily so yeah we got our own little s'more station it comes with the little tray that you put like the graham crackers the marshmallows the chocolate and then it comes with the burner too and it is safe for indoors there's nothing that says summertime like roasting marshmallows on an open fire but we don't have any fires around here that we can roast them at so i bought our own i'm gonna clean the tray off really quick 
And then it just comes with these three dividers. I wonder if I need to buy like coals or something. Like how do you light this up? So you put it here in the middle. And then we have this. And this is the cover. So I might need to like go buy something to put in it. You know, for it to um, be flammable. Then it comes with the little pitchforks that you can use to put your marshmallows on and roast them like that. It comes with four of them actually, so that's nice. And also they're extendable, so that is very nice. Okay, and then I read the instructions and it looks like you need to put some type of liquid, uh, liquid fuel such as rubbing alcohol, bioethanol, so I don't have any of that. So maybe I won't be able to do this today. Sorry guys, so I don't think I can do this in this vlog, but I promise in the next vlog, I will like actually light it and set it all up. But it's just super cute. I really love this um, little fire pit thing and everything that it comes with. So you could put like the marshmallows here, the chocolate here, and then the graham crackers on this side. There's a photo of what it looks like when it's set up. But if you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it in my description. I'm not even hungry. I like just ate my big dinner and I'm still full, but I just feel like popcorn is much needed for the drama I'm about to witness tonight. So I'm getting ready for the season finale of Vanderpump. I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited for uh, any TV show really, like any season finale. It's been a long time since I got this hyped up over a show. It's actually kind of sad. This is sad. Whatever. I love reality TV. Trash reality TV is like my favorite maybe because i grew up with it in the 2000s with mtv i don't know what it is but i love it so much i even set the tv led lights to pinkish purplish because those are the sir color sir is the restaurant on this show that's where they all work if you don't know the show i'm sorry if i'm talking about this so much some of you that have never heard of the show are probably like what the heck is she talking about so i apologize that i'm talking so much about it i'm just really excited so yeah i set the lamp to purple too we're all purpled out all right so the finale's over. It was a hot mess, of course. I'm gonna take a little bit of break from Vanderpump. I'm gonna go back to watching it, you know, a little bit later. But that was just too much. So I was watching Friends, but then I just randomly thought, because, you know, I saw Lisa Kudrow, I randomly thought, maybe I should watch Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion, because I've never seen it before. So I rented it on Amazon Prime, because it's nowhere for free. Also, I turned all the purple lights off, because I was getting overwhelming as well yeah guys i'm gonna end my night and end this vlog here hope you all enjoyed this one thanks so much for watching catch you guys in my next one